Today, we're excited to release Elementor version 1.5, and boy is this release feature-packed! First of all, we've completely redesigned the UI. Section and column settings are now fully separated, so it's much easier for you to grab just what you wanted. We've also greatly improved the basic drag and drop, making it much smoother and more responsive. Notice the improved orientation when dropping elements. Need to add a new section or template? You don't have to go to the bottom of the page anymore. Simply click on the plus icon in the middle of the section and add a new section or template. Mobile editing is another feature we've significantly improved. We've added the option to customize the column layout on desktop, tablet and mobile devices. Want 4 columns in a row on mobile but only 3 in tablet? No problem! You can also set the exact width of each column manually. In terms of design flexibility, we've added the option to customize the spacing between widgets. Every Elementor widget has a default bottom padding of 20 pixels. This is set so when you stack widgets one on top of the other, they don't get too close together. With this new feature, you can set your own default spacing between widgets. Great for when you want to add more breathing room between elements. Another feature we've added is called Element Hover. This lets you add tons of engagement into your pages by customizing the hover state of each and every element. This is a very comprehensive feature and we will explain more about it in detail in a future video. We've also added Z-Index. In case you're not familiar with this CSS concept, Z-Index refers to the layers of elements on the page. Want a widget to appear in front of another? Set its Z-Index at a higher number in order to bring it to front. There are some really neat effects you can achieve with this feature, like popping out a price table or creating an interesting array of images. We've added a useful feature for securing your site while updating to a new version of Elementor. In WordPress, whenever you update to a new version of a plugin or a theme, there's always the chance something will break on your site. The rollback option we've introduced lets you update Elementor without any worry. On the off chance something does break, you can always revert back to an earlier version with a simple click of a button. In this update, we've introduced a beta testing option. If you switch this on, you'll get update notification whenever we roll a new beta version. If you're a professional developer or designer, we highly recommend switching on beta testing so you can get involved in helping us improve Elementor even further. As you can see, we've added a whole lot of new functionality into Elementor. You can find out about other improvements we've introduced in the full release post. So don't wait, update to the latest version and start enjoying all these new features. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and be the first to hear about new updates and tutorials.